Maybe for a little today. palate cleanser between uh, yeah. servings of deep fried food at the state I fair. I think we all need that, right? Yeah, uh, also ginger helps to settle the oh. stomach. So we've got uh, a lot of things that have inspired our Mike's Mix this week. We're headed back to the newly opened Marche. And this week, our drink is a tribute to the spirit of Minnesota from Jesse Hill. We're making a, a thing called the Far North Mule. Very similar to a, a drink that everybody knows, I'm sure, called the Moscow Mule. Right, very summery. The, very summery, very gingery, very light, refreshing. And usually based with vodka. As a tribute to all things Minnesota for the final weekend of the State Fair, though, Jesse selected a Halleck Minnesota-made gin called Solveig instead. But this gin is very contemporary. It's very, it's very much an entry-level drinking gin. It's they're very floral, it's light, it's refreshing. It, it, it's basically, if you like vodka, You'll love this gin. This drink is built dry, meaning not over ice. And we start with the Far North gin. Two ounces will be this line right there. That would be five tablespoons? <laughs> yes, five tablespoons. It sounds like baking if we do it that way. <laughs> There's only one more ingredient in this recipe, the tangy taste of ginger beer. Gosling's is a great choice. There's reeds out there. There's yep. all different sorts of ginger beer. Um, we make our own um, because that's how we want to how do it. Roll. And we're just going to basically top it off. And then we're gonna garnish with a nice little pretty lime wheel. That is it's pretty easy. That is the most simple drink you've ever made on <laughs> I Mike's know, Mix. But it's cool to, to try that gin. You yeah. were saying it is a great gin. I got Alyssa a bottle of that gin for her birthday. Nice. What does it cost? Uh, I think it's like twenty six. It's oh, so not outrageous. outrageous. Yep. No. And it's made in Minnesota, which is cool. And we love a good ginger here yeah. in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. yes, we do. We're all about the gingers here. Yeah. Uh, not all gingers, though, in the drink department are created equal. Ginger beer, which is what's in this drink, is much spicier, has a lot more flavor than ginger ale. So yeah. you probably don't want to substitute one for the other. Just mm -hmm. make the take the extra few minutes to run to really any grocery store or liquor yeah, store, and they should have everywhere. ginger beer there. And when you buy them, if you buy it in a bottle, it'll have ginger floating in it. Do not be alarmed. That's by design. Oh, Tip. if you get the. Yeah.